All right, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today, we're gonna be talking about some things that are going on in the NHL, things that need to be discussed. Uh, we're gonna start off this one uh, a little sad. Uh, I want, don't wanna end this video on a sad note, but we're gonna have to start it on a sad note. Uh, Matt Murray's father has passed away. Uh, very inconvenient. He won't be returning with the Pittsburgh Penguins for uh, undisclosed amount of time. Uh, honestly, uh, hockey is a community where we bring people together, uh, you know, breast cancer awareness and all, all these great things, cancer awareness, all this stuff. Uh, and uh, the community brings people together. And I think that, you know, some people might say that Matt Murray should hurry up and get back into it because he is their top goaltender. But at the same time, you have to respect someone uh, especially something like this because it was apparently uh, unexpected and that's hard. Uh, I think that Matt Murray should take as much time as he needs if even if that says the rest of the season most likely won't most likely won't so Pittsburgh fans don't get crazy but uh, I think that he should take his time and uh, you know don't rush whatever emotionally and physically if you're ready to come back you go for it because you want your goalie to be in top tip shape and not in a a bad mood or a stubby mood or you know, you just want to be good. So, uh, our condolences to the family of the Murrays or whatnot and Matt Murray. We hope everything goes well and we hope to see you back in the NHL uh, very soon. Uh, I love watching you, so <laughs> I'd like to see you rob some players, uh, especially, you know, players on, you know, the Caps, but, you know, we won't talk about that one. Uh, anyways, let's move on to something that we have to talk about. Uh, continuing with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins considering picking up evander kane uh evander kane has 39 points this season uh he i mean he has 16 goals that's pretty good let me just double check this i'm actually just kind of guessing here uh yeah he has 16 goals 20 assists for 36 points uh he's a minus nine though but to be fair he plays on buffalo who only have 31 points this season so second to the bottom i believe uh so they're not you know they're not doing the greatest uh this season but he is becoming a shining light in that organization and um you know if they trade him and that's crazy if they trade him that'd be something else if they got rid of uh evander kane when you know jack eichel is a very good p p player to have he has 41 points so they're very close t together uh and he, he's been doing great, Evander Kane. So maybe he will be the difference for uh, the um, for the Pittsburgh Penguins. So Pittsburgh needs some scoring depth. Uh, they have been struggling with the goals dif goals against difference. Let's take a look at their goal differences. It is minus six currently. So they've worked their way back. Uh, they have 135 goals for and 141 goals against. So they could score some more. I don't think they're... Where are they in goals for? Okay, they're about a little lower than mid-pack, so they're not doing too, too bad, but they are definitely uh, lower than they, they were last season. So they want to find a way to boost up their morality and just keep pushing because the deadline's coming soon. The deadline's in February, we're, we're January, we're coming soon to the deadline. So any push that any team wants to make for the playoffs, it will have to be soon and it will be have to be with a new acquisition. Uh, acquisition? Acquire... Acquiring a new player. Uh, let's move on to something sort of sad for the Chicago fans. Uh, Corey Crawford won't be returning to the lineup, uh, most likely for the rest of the season. He stood at 16 wins and 9 losses with a 0.2, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.929 save percentage and a 2.72 goals against average uh, with two shutouts as well on the season. He was the shining light in Chicago as they struggled to find a way to come up with some wins in the Western Conference, which is you know, some people say arguably the harder conference. Some people say the east of the harder conference. But either way, Chicago has always been at the top of the, the league for the Western Conference. But in this year, they have been struggling to keep up and are currently sitting uh, just outside or yeah, just outside a playoff spot with 50 points. And they need 51 points to be in a playoff spot. So uh, they, oh no, wait, uh, 53 points, my bad. Uh, they need just two games or, or a game Two games, two games. They need two games to get back into a playoff spot, and they currently sit with a plus 13 goals difference. That's that's good, you know. They're finding some offense, but the goaltending is going to be difficult for them as this game, as these games come ahead for them. Uh, so it's going to be a difficult run for the Chicago Blackhawks for the playoffs, uh, especially missing a guy like Corey Crawford who has always found a way to spark the team to wins, you know, with a couple of big saves during the last period. And he is a big guy, and. 
he is a big role model in this team. I see a carry price to the Montreal Canadiens. No, uh, you can't just rely on him. And the team knows that. And they have successfully found success without him in the recent games since uh, December, by the way. He's been out December 23rd. His last game was against New Jersey. Uh, so, you know, he's he's a big part of the team. It's hard to see Corey Crawford not be a part of the team. And especially if they make a good haul for the you know, this, the playoffs and the Stanley Cup, uh, to him not being there would be something else. And uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but he is fighting vertical leg symptoms. So hopefully he recovers for a good season next season. He's 33 years old, and we'd like to see him continuing in the league for the hard next three or four years at least. So recover well, Crawford, and hope we hope to see you soon. All right, guys, so that pretty much sums up the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like. And uh, if you want more or whatnot, let me know. Uh, if you have anything you want to talk about or discuss on the channel, let me know. And uh, that's pretty much going to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.